Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are making an omelet florentine. Cue the music. Thanks so much for joining us today. If this is your first time joining us, please hit that subscribe button and hit the little tiny bell there to be notified each and every time I upload new content. Today, like I said, we're making a Florentine omelet or an omelet Florentine. So here's our ingredients. We're gonna be starting out with three eggs, a little bit of some spinach. I got some goat cheese here, olive oil, and a tomato that we're going to heat up and fry up in the pan to make our omelet. So let's head into the kitchen and start getting this done. All right, well I screwed up and I forgot to get the footage of all the prep work that I did, but we'll start over here because that's what it's all about. I've got our three eggs here that we're gonna use for our omelet. I chopped up the spinach a little bit so when it gets into the omelet, we don't have to cut it as we cut into our omelet. It's already chopped up. Our tomatoes are diced, same reason. Uh, we chopped up and kind of, are gonna crumble our goat cheese into the omelet after it's set and cooked and ready to go. I could have sliced it, but it doesn't really slice that well. It's kind of like a cream cheese a little bit. And of course our olive oil is back here in the background. And then we've got our bowl right here that we're going to crack our eggs into and whip up our omelet. So I'm gonna back out here a little bit and then we're going to do our omelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack these eggs right in the bowl here one-handed oh got the shell on there so all right you can add pancake batter to this heavy cream milk water whatever you want to do to make it a different kind of omelet or a better omelet however you do it i'm just showing you the basics of how to make an omelet here so i've got our pan on it's medium high i got our olive oil we're going to add this over into our omelet now. Let's set this shut up here real quick. Make sure my camera is actually recording so I don't lose footage like I did with our last shot. There we go. A tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to let this get all into our pan. So make sure your pan is well greased. Whip up your eggs one more time. Pour your eggs in. Then you wanna take your, you see how the outside here is cooking. And you wanna just kinda of push that into the middle and let the runny egg work its way out again. This creates a really big omelet. That's why it's important to have a well greased pan too. Just keep pushing that in and letting the runny part come out and you can kind of see how it's forming a little bowl now it's up to you when to flip it I mean you can continue to do this until almost all of your goodies until almost all of your eggs are cooked but I'm gonna back out here for the flip now there it is I'm gonna turn off the heat now and what you want to do on this part, when you add your ingredients, very important part here, you got your handle right here. You want everything to line up with the handle because when you go to flip it onto your plate, you're not actually going to flip it, but you're going to roll it kind of. Well, I don't know what you call it. I'm going to use about half these tomatoes. And probably about half this cheese too. So I will make note of that in the ingredients list below that we're not going to use all these ingredients in here. So I will try to remember to cut it in half. If I don't, watch the video, make note of that. There we go. Our ingredients are in the middle. You get that cheese off my hands. Get a close up of this before we plate it onto a plate. And then I'll back out again for the plate. Now this is why it's important to have the ingredients lined up with the handle because you're gonna take your ingredients, your omelet, I'm sorry, and there you go. It goes right onto the plate 
and everything is in the middle. It doesn't slide out. It doesn't flop all over the place. Your ingredients are where they need to be, which is inside your omelet. So we're going to set this over on this counter here, plate it up, make it look really nice, take some awesome photos of it for social media, and then we're going to put those photos into the timeline of this video with some groovy music, and then we're going to come back and we're going to give this a nice taste test. So let me set up that shot. Okay, here is the tape. Pull me back the heck out of here, huh? Wow. Okay, here's our omelet. Get a little bit of a shot of that. Get that goat cheese, that spinach and tomato in here, in a nice fluffy omelet. Turned out really good. I got some toast on here. So we're just going to take a bite of this. The fluffiness of that omelet, uh, the spinach, the goat cheese is very very good gives it a nice texture i got some salt and pepper on here too you can just see all that gooeyness in there it is just such an awesome omelet give it a try and get some more of this cheese in here oh yeah oh good flavor good flavor nice and fluffy very healthy too i might add uh, you can add whatever you want to it you can add bacon onions this is just my version of it I made for you. You can make it however you like. But this was an omelet florentine. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you take some time and head down below into the description box. There's a lot of groovy links that I'd like you to check out. One is for my Etsy shop, which I do a lot of my seasonings on. I've also got links for how to make a show on YouTube. A lot of helpful hints and tricks for that, as well as where I get all my groovy stuff for the show as well. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button below. Make sure that you leave a comment below. Tell us how we did. And then do me a favor and share this video and this channel with everyone. Everyone that you know. Thanks a lot for watching again. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.